Hi James. Hi guys, welcome to the conversation. Um, this is my desk over at the window. Every day I work with academic writers to produce um, comment and analysis articles. So um, I work as an editor rather than a journalist um, sourcing stories from other people. Sounds cool. What are you working on now? I am working on stories about the Paris Climate Conference that is coming up on Monday. I'm working on stories about building roads in Africa and I'm working on stories about surviving bushfires this summer. Wow, that's heaps. There is so much variety. Um, I, you know, I struggle to keep my head around it all. That's cool, yeah. So how did you get this job? I got this job by, I interned at The Conversation straight after I finished uni, mm -hmm. and then I never left. Good one. We hear a rumor you've been working <laughs> on something else too. Lately, I've been working on a book about surviving climate change. It's called The Handbook, Surviving and Living with Climate Change, which is a guide to surviving the climate apocalypse. The climate apocalypse? Without guns. <laughs> That's reassuring. Let's go get a drink. I'll show you my favorite spot next door. Great idea. Let's go. James, did you always want to do this kind of work? Did you always see yourself as an editor? It's definitely in the in the general area of what I thought I'd be doing. I always wanted to be David Attenborough, so I guess, you know, short of being a famous TV presenter, it's in the same area. Why are you good at your job? What do you bring to your role? I bring a passion for the environment and I also love reading, writing and researching, so it's pretty ideal for me, really. Cool. If your job were a song, what would it be? Three seconds, quick. Carly Ray Jensen, call me maybe because I spend all day waiting for people to call me back. <laughs> Good one. See you later. Thanks for your time, James. Oh, your helmet. Don't forget your helmet. <laughs> I'm in a park. <laughs> See ya. Bye.